so there are three innovations that Gentari brought on uh, Wednesday during during our visit to their charging stations. So number one is of course the 350 kilowatt fastest charging station in the region. Number two is this Camp Power dynamic charging stations that's uh, that's being tested in in Bangi, and then number three, uh, which is I think is is actually quite good lah, is no longer charging based on time, but charging based on kilowatt hour. Basically, is you are now charging for what you actually use rather than time. So yeah. you want to break that down a bit? Yeah, because part of this, because um, APO is saying that um, no one else can charge electricity except for Tanaka National because apparently it's a legal framework, mm. the regulatory requirement. Mm. But in recently, the Energy Commission, the Suruhan Jaya Tanaga, they introduced this EVCS license, mm. Electric Vehicle Charging System license. Mm. So uh, from what I've seen in the document, it's all about safety. So you want to be certified EVCS. It's uh, about standards, standards, making sure that it's safe, safe and stuff like that. Yep, yeah, yep, and then yep. it's safe. And then the charging station must be properly labeled. Okay, this how many kilowatt, mm. which is something that's lacking other charges. Mm. And, and, and surprisingly, on the day of the launch, they revealed that, oh, with this license, they are able to charge based on kilowatt hour, mm-hmm. which is a major breakthrough. Yeah, so that means uh, it's like this, right? So again, if I'm using I'm using petrol station as an analogy here. So let's say you go to a petrol station and you pay 50, 50 ringgit or 10. Let's say, okay, let's say you go to a petrol station, you pay 10 ringgit. Mm-hmm. With 10 ringgit, you get five minutes and you can, uh, you can fill in as much as you can within five minutes. And then the clock starts when you stop your engine. Yep. So imagine, right? You go into you go into the park the the, the petrol station, petrol pump. There, you park. You you kill your engine. The Time clock starts. starts. <laughs> you open the door. You fumble the key. You try to open the fuel flap. You try to choose which petrol you yep. want. You you put it in. And then by 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 the time's up, you probably get one or two liters. Yeah. In five minutes. Yep. So it's not it's not uh, the word that Gentari used in their press release was equitable. Equitable, basically, it's f- it's not fair, lah. You are paying for the time rather than the actuality of using it. Yeah, I think this more apparent with uh, park is this implementation. Mm. So essentially, you're not paying for the charger; you're paying for the parking spot. Yeah, and then the parking spot, the time starts when the whatever barrier when the barrier goes, goes down. down. Yep. So you need to reverse you in, park it in, take out your cable. Both. If this, if the unit doesn't have a cable, you gotta take out your cable. You gotta look at your cable heads. Which one's female? Which one's male? Yeah, you gotta plug it in. By the time you plug it in, you gotta make sure that the the charging is is correct. You got to make sure whether the unit is working or not. There's so many things, right? So, okay. The other thing is, if you're an EV user, when you start charging, right? Okay. I mean, we'll we'll tell you honestly, it's not. I'm not. I, I don't want to say it's complicated because it's not actually, but it's not as straightforward as pumping petrol. Yeah. Uh, if you have a charging station that doesn't have a cable, you got to take your cable. So usually when you buy a char- uh, EV car, they will supply a cable for you. So once you take the cable, the cable has a female and a male thing. So this is not a problem if you if, if it's clearly marked. But most of the cables that I've seen, it's not marked. Yep. So you have to take out the rubber protector flap thing and then look at the thing and then plug it, plug the one female end, yeah. one, I think, or one, and plug the one, plug one end to the charging station and then plug one end to the car. Once that's done, the car will have to talk to the charger to say, okay, this is my set of charge or how much power I need, blah, blah, blah. And then only uh, the charging starts. Charging jalan, right? So in my experience, this pay per, pay by uh, time, mm-hmm. pay per minute uh, concept, right? You lose about three to four minutes because every time I, I charge for 30 minutes, I will probably get 27, 28 minutes of like charging. So it's not fair. Um, and it also takes time to pull up to start charging. Yeah. yeah. To get up to speed, right? Yes. Uh, so, and, and uh, charging by time um, for DC charging is, uh, I don't know, it's not fair lah because what happens is you, the let's say if the DC charger can give you 350 kilowatts, right? You're not going to get that full power the time you plug in. Yeah. The engine, the engine plug, the battery <laughs> has to Prime warm itself. up or condition itself. The car has to be ready to accept that power and then it takes one or two minutes for that to happen. Only then you get the full power. And then after that, it tapers off uh, to maybe 100 or, or, or less, 100 kilowatts or less. So if you're paying by time, you're not, you're not utilizing your time fully. Lah. This reminds me of the good old days. Remember back then, dial internet, 
you uh-huh. pay by minute, right? Like two point five cent per minute. Mm. So let's say you open a web browser, yeah. you're looking, you're just reading some news on a website, right? Yeah. You're not using data, but the time is still ticking. Yes, yes. Versus yes. today, you you like you surf uh, de- uh internet on your phone, mm. you pay per gig, but I pay one gig. I can use one gig in one day or yep. one hour or even one whole month. Yep. So it's up to me how I want to use. Yeah, I think the problem, and that's a good analogy because the problem was before when they were charging, when Dialect was charging based on time was because they cannot measure the data packets. Yep. It was all analog. Yep. It was like, okay, I cannot, I don't know how much data is going through. You call in, you start by minute. Yeah, yeah. I can only provide the da- the maximum data and it, it depends on like the modem, la, the whatever, whatever. La. But if you have the best equipment, you get the maximum uh, data. But I can I don't know how much is that. Yeah, I can only charge you by minute, and it's the same thing here. Um, but the the problem is it's not because they don't know how much power is going going into the car. They just because of regulations and law cannot charge for electricity. Yeah. Now with this license, they can, and it's great. I think this is like a really huge step for EV adoption in the country. Um, I. Uh, I know Gentari is doing a lot of good things, but yeah, one big bugbear I have is this location. Lah. 